introduce you to Teddy the Tour Boat, and this Sunday you get to meet the young author behind those. It's a special day at McNally Robinson on Sunday for the launch of Teddy the Tour Boat, and we're pleased to bring in 14-year-old author Joshua Hood. Josh, uh, I want to talk to you in the story, but let's talk about Teddy first off. Who, who is Teddy? Teddy is based on a real pontoon boat that used to be in the Red River. Uh, my dad was a captain on the boat, and I was about eight or nine years old when I was on the boat. And I used to go on all the adventures with him, and I'd sit on the front, feel the wind splash up in my face. And I would imagine that all the boats would communicate with each other and talk to each other through all the things that they'd get through. Yeah. And when I had to write a short story for a school project, um, in September of 2011, I decided to write about that boat and give him a name and give him all these other characters to interact with. And that's pretty much where it started. Awesome. And then it continues to, uh, well, culmination into the big launch on Sunday. The book's already available in the stores and online, and all of the links are already at breakfasttelevision.ca. But how do you get to that point? How do you get from a uh, school assignment where you're making up characters in the red to getting it published? Well, one night I was searching Amazon.com, and I scrolled down, and I saw something that said self-publish with us. And I went on there, and I followed the steps of that, and it turned out to just be an e-book at that point. Right for Kindles and all that stuff. And a few months later, I found how to publish it in paperback, again by Amazon, and I did that. And I just walked in to my parents' house the other day and said I published a book. Little, little you surprised Dad that his old job has now been turned into a series of children's books. I think he's pretty surprised about <laughs> it. I would be. Let's talk about the characters and the adventures. What kind of fun does, uh, does uh, Teddy get into with his friends? Well, they're all based on real-life stories. These stories, not specifically, but they have elements from the real stories. And sure. dock swapping, uh, they have elements from where he gets stuck on the ground or when he runs out of gas in the middle of the lake, visiting boat where another boat comes, comes in from another country. So they have all these different elements that actually happened on the real teddy boat. Fantastic, an awesome idea, and, and awesome that it's actually happened just right here in our own backyard. Now, this is far from the end for you. In fact, you've already planned your next project. Teddy's going to become an animated series, right? Um, not Teddy, but actually Engineer Joel. It's uh, about okay. a train driver, pretty much. And I'm working on a 10-episode series of that. And I've recorded the voices for 10 of them, and I've got lovely voice actors who do that for me. And I've written the 10 episodes, and I've only completed one so far, but I'm hoping to get five done for the summer for DVD release. Fantastic idea. All the information, uh, not only on Josh, but also how you can pick up the books in many different forms, all at breakfasttelevision.ca. Don't forget, the big launch goes uh, this Sunday at McNally Robinson in the atrium there. You'll find Josh and his books and his friend Teddy and everybody else right there. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Going to check in with Brittany Bagnell. She's filling in on remote for Drew Kosev today.